Throughout the year, Madden changes month to month, week to week. It changes a ton, and the game that we end up with in July is nowhere near the same game that we played in August. And again, I'm here to talk about the changes that have happened more so in the past two to three months. And the very first one that we're going to be going over, there's three total, is a new adjustment that people really have not used before. It's been used situationally in years past, but in this year, it's really become mainstream. But it's mostly only high-level comp guys doing it. It's pretty hard to actually mimic this as more of a casual player because it changes your defense so much and the muscle memory required is pretty hard to get used to. And that is going to be outside thirds coming from these safety positions. Now, there is a reason outside thirds from the safety position are way better than, than just normal halves. And if you kind of want an example of what this looks like, go to a play call like cover three cloud out of nickel normal or dollar, and you'll see your safety in a stock outside third. But now they're hot routing both of them into those. The reason it's better than a deep half is, look, zones in this game are pretty bad. Like, they don't really play anything if you have velocity chems and you're playing inside of mutt or regs with a velocity chem, okay? So... Halves are going to give up the middle of the field already. Agreed? You you can bomb halves up the middle already. And halves also don't play outside in this game really at all either. You can throw corner outs on halves pretty easily now, if you even without, even without a clear out. So what an outside third does is it actually gets those safeties to widen out even further. Now, does this open up the middle of the field more? Yeah. Is that really the main way people are beating, like, zone and man cover? Like, if you're running cover two, they're going to beat you at the middle, regardless if you have your guys in outside halves or, or outside thirds or outside halves, okay? So, by putting them in outside thirds, you're going to be able to take away a lot of corner routes, help bracket a lot of corner routes. They play, like, PA shot seams on a gun tight off set and gun tight. That is a super deep corner route. The outside third from the safety is going to do a pretty good job to help that. Now, will it by itself bag anything? No, not necessarily, but it will help bracket it a ton. Now, the reason this gets hard is because, for example, in the formation B-Nog, Bing Nickel over G, this does come stock in that where all the adjustments, you're able to put your safeties in these outside thirds. But to be able to do this, whenever a formation allows you to make that adjustment... It means that your slot corners can't be put into curl flats. It means your safeties can't get put into flats. It changes a ton of your adjustments. And again, just look at big nickel over G with to make sure you don't change the packages at all. And you'll be able to see that happen. You, you'll, you'll see exactly what I mean. Now, the other thing is certain formations like dollar nickel 3-3 also have the ability to do this. But you have to go to a certain package. This package will flip your players around. So you also have to substitute a bunch of people. It's a pretty annoying process. I hate having to do it. But again, if you're going to be running a cover two or let's say a cover two man under, right? Cover two man, where you're getting a lot of press man coverage, two deep halves to safety help over top. Getting those safeties and outside halves is going to help you with their corner routes a ton. And something that was big this year early on was man coverage with like 25 yard purples. The issue was, was that the purples would push, would uh, bump into cornerbacks a lot. Now, they don't bump anymore, which is a really, really, really nice thing. On top of this, another big thing that has changed in this game is that Gun Bunch has officially totally died on a comp level. Now, can you still run it at a high level? Yes. But can you run it at the high? Is it the best formation in the game anymore? The other that really is no. Uh, no, it is not. And it's kind of different. I, I've really never seen a Madden that uh, that Gun Bunch wasn't the best formation anymore. Even a Madden's in the past where I'm like, ah, I don't know if it is. It got like, it got the best brains on it because all the best Madden players wanted to use it because of just familiarity. And so even when it maybe was arguable like trips tight end or something, Bunch would get so much resources put towards it to find route combos and ability setups and et cetera, et cetera that Bunch would become the best again, right? Think about it like this. If Bunch and Trips tight end are roughly the same in just like overall ability to do everything, right? Let's just hypothetical. But 50 pro man players, and there's not that many, but 50 pro man players run Gun Bunch and only 10 run Trips tight end, Gun Bunch is going to get optimized way more, right? Just because there's more people practicing different things, different setups, different abilities. That's a huge thing when it comes to running off meta formations is that, for example, there could be a formation that's not that bad, but if you don't know the right ability setup, it could be pretty bad. Like you, you won't know how to do it. Same thing with bunch. If you don't know, in, even in previous years, if you don't know the right ability setup for bunch, bunch sucked in previous years. You had to know the right stuff of how to make it good, right? And it goes like that for a lot of abilities, but I can like really watching a lot of the top end comp players play right now, and, 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 and a lot of bunch guys, they don't run bunch anymore. Young Kiv doesn't really run bunch. Henry, I don't know how many snaps he had on a bunch in the in the wild card. He didn't. The Mad Bull winner ran uh, a tour of New Orleans. Uh, we got to see uh, Louisiana, 
um, in, in that, running a bunch of gun title set, stack, a little bit of bunch. There is some bunch. It's not like bunch isn't being used, but it's not being used to the same extent that it's been used in years prior. And, uh, you know, props to EA. Props to EA. They actually, you know, that was kind of, a, I know that was a goal of theirs. I know that internally it was a goal of theirs to get become a bunch from being less meta. And they've done that. A couple of things they've proven with that is one, uh, the, uh, the uh, recency bias. I have seen the amount of comments and, and replies to my Twitter saying that, oh my gosh, and other Madden's people would run different formations, but now it's just gun tight, gun tight, gun tight. What fuck? Have you? Really? Every other man was just gun, like, it's always, it's always the same formation. Like, it doesn't matter. Insert XYZ three formation, and that is that Madden. You know what I mean? In, in Madden 19, it was gun bunch and trips tight end every play. In uh, Madden 20, it was, well, Madden 20 was Eric Dickerson or gun bunch every play. Madden 21, uh, I can't, that game's such a blur to me. Madden 22 was gun bunch tight end every play. Like, it's like that every year with insert XYZ formation. It's never more spread out. It's never more, like, it's, it's, for the most part, like, the consistency of how many, how many times you'll see the same formation, the, the top meta formation in a Madden is pretty pretty normal i think in terms of like the you know i mean like how often you'll see that depending on what formation you know it, and it doesn't matter what formation it is is what i'm trying to get at all right uh so again props to ea i like seeing bunch be uh kind of killed uh, a lot of people are coming out in bunch and audible into tight but not running bunch still so that is a big meta shift i think really like now is the time like where you could say yeah it's kind of like it's it's you don't really see it you don't really see, and again, it could be ran in a high level, I think, but just maybe not the highest, which is what you have to optimize for when you're playing at the highest of highest of levels. You know what I'm saying, right? You always have to optimize everything you're doing to be able to play at the highest of highest levels. Now, next thing I kind of want to talk about is offense is king now. Man coverage is dead. Now, is zone good? The answer to that is certainly no. I mean, certainly no shot, but man isn't good either. Um, the thing is like, if, if you're getting like the only thing that can really give you any kind of issues with man coverage is KOs, which in my opinion, isn't really man coverage is KO. And if you work on, for the most part, seriously, if you work on clicking on agging, swerving down underneath, you'll be able to get good at avoiding KOs. Seriously, watch my gameplay videos. Uh, especially my mutt head league that we're doing right now. And uh, you'll be able to see me avoid KOs all the time. Now, will I get KO'd sometimes? Yes, 100%. Uh, man coverage is pretty easy to beat. Uh, the other thing is that inconsistently, every once in a while, it can kind of bag. If you're having issues, one thing I will see people have issues with is like cover zero where they're getting man pressed. Now, that's a fair thing to have issues with. Throw on some short out elites and really start running like bench, for example, where you have, you know, out route, corner route. Uh, you'll, and and you'll, you'll have a ton of success. Uh, I have... You know, this this man, I'm honestly, I was talking to somebody the other day about this. I'm surprised uh, th this year you're not seeing, like, onside kicks yet. And while I probably just said that, you're like, oh, my God, like, what? What do you mean? Last year, when offense was way too good, we saw a lot of onside kicks. And that's because they did not want to give the opposition a chance to milk the clock, and they wanted them to have to play at the short field a little bit easier to defend for the most part, right? Get them inside the 20s, uh, with you know. Um, we haven't seen that yet, and it's not a terrible strategy, I don't think. Um, now I won't ever do that. I hate playing the game like that, but I'm like, there's some lot, like there's, it's, you know, there's a little bit fair. There's a little bit less clock chewing. I think this year, um, just in general, just because I mean, the game started out with a pretty defensive heavy game. Uh, it's also, it's pretty interesting to note. <sighs> it's so weird because when I, when I, when I look at the game from like, like very, like very casual step back, right? Like I play the game, uh, on a comp level, um, with, with, with guys who play the game as pros, but also, I make content, talk to more casual players every single day, which is something that a lot of those guys don't do. So I get to see kind of bo best of both worlds. In my casual lenses, the meta hasn't really changed a ton. Like, I mean, gun tight is still the best formation. Literally, like, I have a day one gun tight ebook on Civil GG that literally works exactly the same. Nothing, ha nothing has changed. Nothing has changed in that. But from a very like you know being a hardcore grinder the game has changed in terms of day one it was offense was kind of hard now offense is pretty easy um you if you are not putting up points if you find yourself struggling you should be able to I, I if you find yourself getting bagged really if you're like oh man nothing's open you have to look in the mirror of your Madden game and say, what am I doing wrong? Because very rarely in this game will you see yourself get back. Again, in Mutthead, using Mutthead as a reference because I, I get to play that you know, a couple times a week now. 
Very rarely will you guys see my games where I'm like bagged on a play. Typically, it's from a misread, a KO, or a blitz comes in, and I, I just get hit, right? Very you, you really shouldn't be. The, the amount of route combos in this game that you can have work is more than ever before. It really, really is. Now, I'm throwing on some extra stuff here. I said there's only three, but we're going to keep on talking for a moment. Uh, another thing that's that's interesting that we've seen a little bit early in the year, but now I, I really see you know a lot, is man coverage, but instead of pressed, just backed off, but no shade. Uh, this is going to kind of give you... It, it eliminates a lot of the bumping, and because you're not shading, they play flats pretty well, but they also play deep routes pretty well, too. Um, I like it. You might see me shift that way, maybe? We'll see. Um, I don't think it's... Is it good? No. But is it something that's becoming popular? Yes. Yes, it is. It's it's weird. The games in a I always I mean I, I it's it's so weird. Look look at the games. Looking at the years past I played. Um, every year I'm always like I always have the same feelings every year. Uh, no, that's not true. Ah, uh, I don't know. The game's always just weird, man. Oh, it's always weird for different yet the same reasons. You know whether it's things that shouldn't like things that are wrong. And I'm like that just can't be the case. You know, I've, I've said that so many times throughout the years. I've said so many times throughout the years, I'm like, man, this game would be insanely good if it just had this one or two fixes. It's like that probably probably almost every year. And honestly, it's probably said pretty naively because if one thing, if those things got fixed, probably the other huge issues. Um, but yeah, the, I, I think the meta has changed a good amount. And and, and I kind of want to give you guys kind of that breakdown of, of kind of my thoughts on how it's changed and really, really how the game's probably going to be played for the next... Five months, six months. If you want to get better at John Madden football, there's two things you need to do. One, you need to join Civil.gg. I've turned many players, not just, you know, I have a lot of guys who have went from winning five weekend league, not, not five, like, you know, eight, nine, 10 to winning 15, 16, 17. I also have a lot of guys who went from, you know, winning the upper tier of weekend league to being comp guys now. A lot of guys who are Civil GG, I now lab with uh, to get ready and, well, I guess right now I'm not doing amazing in my head league. Uh, I, I, I've been doing it for you know over a year now. And those guys are the same people who helped me get up, make final 16s last year. So like it's been, there, there's a lot of knowledge we learned. So there's that you, you need to become a civil GG member, but two, you need to play the game and get, understand what works in the game, why it works. Okay. Once you start to identify that you will be able to help yourself get a step up on the competition year after year after year. I know whenever the game launches day one, for the most part, especially the first month of the game, if I'm playing it at, at, at a pretty, you know, consistent level and playing some comp games, I'm be, I, I will be above most people just because of the fact that, that the knowledge I've been able to soak in, you, know, you want to be a sponge and you want to make sure you're getting your knowledge from the correct places. Um, but you want to be a sponge and take in all that knowledge. Just a really good opportunity. If you want to get better at man to play the game, have fun with it. It's a good time. The games don't matter a ton, but you can still get better. There's tournaments that you can play in still. Um, you can join my discord. You can play people in there. There's a lot of opportunities to get better at the game of John Madden football. And I I'm here for it. We have, I mean, we're on daily uploads. We have like 280 day upload streak and we're just going to keep on going. Um, so we're going to be here all st every step of the way. And yeah, I appreciate y'all. If you want to know my framework for how I run my offenses and defenses and how I've won pro man tournaments while becoming a top ranked player, join my website, civil.gg. My guides will give you the tools you need to win more games of Madden, regardless if you're trying to become comp or if you're just trying to win more games online head to head. The link is in the description.